Hey guys, it's time for my routine and then for lunch, so here we go. 20s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Then the circles. 1, 2, <laughs> I think I was counting a bit too quick there. Sorry, I'm a bit in time. I'm a little bit tired today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and one for love. Blimey. Right. Push ups. Oh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, blimey. It's getting harder, not easier, but you know, if I keep going like this, I'm bound to improve a little bit. That's that's all that matters. <laughs> Hi guys, this was suggested to me by my friend Jason. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to sort of cut up a cucumber. I'm only going to have half of this one because this one's absolutely gigantic. So I'm going to slice that down the middle, and I shall save this bit for later because it's nice and chunky. Just put that over there on the sofa, just like a normal person. Right, he suggested that I slice this one quite thinly, so here goes. Right, I presume we mean down the middle like this, like that. I'm supposed to cut the ends off actually. There we go, that's the end gone. Right, so I've sliced that down the middle, and I'll do that again. Uh, okay, this is beginning to get a little bit complicated. I don't know whether or not I can do this again, but this is beginning to get interesting for me. It's all a learning experience at the end of the day. I've not had my, you know, I don't think I can slice it anymore. Uh, so what I'll probably do is I'll chunk these ones off like this. But the aim is to season them with salt and pepper and make them less gross. Not with fur, like on this one. Get rid of the fur. It's important not to waste any of the vegetable. You know, sometimes you've just got to bite the bullet with them. Uh, you know, ooh, hairy, hairy, hairy. This has got more hair on it than I have. Right, <laughs> okay. Well, uh, well, we'll deal with that one when we come to it, right? So, okay, this is kind of a lot thinner than my previous one, um, works, so let's, let's start, shall we? Okay, so, I'm going to pepper them all up. I don't really like pepper much. It can be really nice sometimes, but sometimes it can be really awful. Anyway, I'm hoping that it makes the extremely awful cucumber slightly less awful, or cucumbersome. Oh my god, that pun was terrible. I, I don't know how many people are actually watching the videos this long, but anyway, uh, give it a little bit of salt. There we go. Salt and pepper cucumber. Let's start with our furry friend, shall we? Three, two, one. Okay. Now, actually, Jason, this isn't too bad. Um, 
I don't really like it because it's cucumber and I think cucumber is really horrible. I don't actually have any tomatoes so I can't do anything with the, to with the tomato. But the pepper and the salt disguise the taste of the cucumber and um, that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable with life. It's still pretty vile. But, it's passable. I, I could cope with this, you know. This is a lot better than raw cucumber on its own. A lot better. Um, I will try and get hold of some vinegar. I don't really like vinegar either. But you suggested putting a bit of vinegar with it as well. So I'll try and do that next time. But, for what it is, it's really quite interesting. Anyway, cucumber is meant to be really healthy for your skin. It's meant to be good for you in many different ways. But the thing I like most about cucumber right now is the fact that a large percentage of the cucumber is of water, right? It's got a very high percentage of water um, inside of it. Which means that once I've had my cucumber, I won't have to have a glass of fuel before I go to work. You know? It means it will literally give me a little bit, it will take me out of dehydration to the point where I don't need fuel, and that's that's important. Because I don't want to go back to that stuff immediately, because that's horrible. Anyway, in regards to like the push-ups and everything, I'm really surprised that I could do 20. 20 is ridiculous for me. I've never done that many. I've never done 15. And that's pathetic, but I'm really proud of myself for that. I mean, I've had a few people suggesting that I add a couple more things to my routine, but at the moment I don't have enough energy barely to do the routine I've got. Um, I think what I'm probably going to do is, when I go up to 25, the day after that I'm going to rest, because people are telling me that I need to rest and take breaks. So I'll take a day of rest and instead of doing that I'll go on a run or something. You know, something slightly different. Change things up a bit. Um, but that way I won't be killing myself and my body. Because I don't want to overdo it either. So what I'll probably do is I'll take the time off and then I'll go back into it. I don't know, maybe I'll forget and I'll just keep going, who knows. That's probably how it'll go. Um, I don't know. Um, it's been quite interesting so far, anyway. But this is all, this is actually all right. I can cope with this. So after I've had a few pieces, the pepper just takes over and um, it reduces the cucumbers' disgustingness to just a tasteless mash of water and plant flesh. But I don't know whether I could live off of it, to be honest. I had a beautiful conversation with them, a vegan a long time ago, and they're talking about constant addition of nuts to diets and things like that. And I try and tell them that I've got this nut allergy. Um, it's a mild one, but it's still an allergy. And um, they said, um, well, maybe um, because I'm not supposed to, because without that, apparently I wouldn't survive. Um, they said, well, maybe I deserve to die then. Well, you know, we're all going to die, so I'll just wait for my time to come. As you can probably tell, I've had mostly unpleasant experiences with vegans. I'm only friends with two vegans that I can cope with. And they're lovely people. But I've had some serious, serious arguments with people in the past. But it's, it, the thing is, it's strange, because at the end of the day... Plants, they're not any different from us, really. You know, they're just in the soil, minding their own business. You know, the chicken is outside, it's minding its own business. I'm in this room, minding its own business. One of us has got to die. 
and maybe one day the cucumbers will rise up and go for the vegans and everyone will be happy and world war food will come out who knows I don't know but suffice to say this is pretty horrible but it is manageable Thanks Jason, that was interesting and I'm going to try using more of this sort of seasoning although I've got to keep my salty intake low apparently so I can't have that too often but it is a good way of getting cucumbers because I don't like cucumbers and I can cope with that so thank you, I really appreciate that. Take care, have a really good uh, day and I will try and make another video later. Bye!